Well, it's 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern, and it's time for the show that brings you the best deals in vaping, broadcast from the Vapor Joe's Bunker in the heart of New Jersey. And coming at you from the Vaping Underground Live Network on YouTube, I'm your host and deals diva, Tiger Tiger, and with me, as always, is the infamous, proudly politically incorrect, and always devilishly handsome, especially tonight, Vapor Joe. So grab a vape, a beverage, and don't touch that dial. You're in for 90 minutes of interactive, informative, and money-saving vape chat. Welcome to Done Deal. Oh my god. We're... Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. I had you muted. You, you can try that again. Oh, did you? Yeah. I said, where, where are we? We're in the Vapor Joe's bunker in the heart of New Jersey. Are we? Yeah. Okay. Aren't we? Well, guys, I just, I just, I just wanted to let everybody know. Listen, um, uh, my, I don't know what happened, but I fucked up my back. But uh, I'm on, I get in right now. So if I act loopy, that's why. <laughs> or if I get something wrong, or I, or I, I say something I'm not supposed to, it's, it's, it's the drugs. It's not my fault. I didn't do it. That's that's all I'm saying. Dude, it's all your fault. Anyway, so. Did you just call um, me, dude? <laughs> don't you remember the Chris? I mean, the birthday card I got. No, that remind just said me. Dude, that just said dude on it? No, re remind me. Oh, well, Nikki gave it to me. Oh, oh, yeah, and it was really funny. Now I do remember. But what was the punchline? Well, the, the, no, the fact is it just says dude, because I'm known, I'm notorious for saying dude, believe it or not. I just don't say it very often around you. Yeah, not very often, because you bug it, me when I do it. No, that's true. Okay. okay, so anyway, guys, welcome to Dumb Deal. Um, we, uh, we, got, we finally have date mail to talk about today. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have a few other things to talk about, lots of deals. This week we actually have deals because last week kind of was eh because all the deals were basically dead due to Labor Day. Uh, but uh, this this uh, this week is going to be uh, pretty good with, uh, with the deals. But uh, um, but um, I, you know, it was my birthday on Saturday. Yes, uh, they're wishing you happy birthday greets in the chat. Tiger got so drunk. Please. that um she was singing Don't in a corner tell talking them to that. a stuffed animal <laughs> that is absolutely not true it took me like like i don't know what nine hours to work my way through two glasses of wine so don't even joe yes, that, don't true. tell she them stories like that she was uh she was a wonderful uh hostess actually damn straight she, she, she wasn't even she wasn't even it was almost like i was at a restaurant but she wasn't even my wife well she she was uh she was just uh waiting on everybody it was uh I was almost like, will you sit down already? <laughs> actually, will you sit down already? <laughs> actually, there's no almost. You did that a couple of times. So I'm like, but, 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 I, I have to, I have to. So, it was good. Well, um, we were going to have a toga party, but my mom showed up. And if, now my mom's nice and all, but my mother in her toga, well, I hope she's not watching. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Tiger, what would you think? My mom in a toga, what do you think? I, I, I don't know if I would even notice, because if you were in a toga, oh. would, would, there, would I even notice anyone else was here? I would like to see you in a toga. Did, I can rack up the points too, Joe. <laughs> All right, enough about us. Uh, but anyway, so it was, it was a fun time, and I uh, yeah. uh, got a lot of interesting things. And um, my mom actually uh, gave me a really cool uh, birthday gift. Um, when I was a kid, um, when I was about, I don't know, probably about six or seven years old, I used to play on the, you know, that little record players we used to have as kids. I used to play Bruce Springsteen's Hungry Heart over and over and over again. I would love to play a clip right now, but we can't do that. So my, um, my mother actually found like a pristine 45 of it, had it um, professionally framed and uh inscribed it was really really cool um, well, well tell them the rest it wasn't enough that you just played it over and over you would dance around on your bed singing along like a rock star i don't remember that part well your sister I... sure did <laughs> well how could nikki she would only have been two well she no she'd have been older than that come on now. well no if i was like six she'd be like two no she would be no she wouldn't even have been born yet uh, no, you said more like nine, I thought. I don't know. I, I thought you said you 80. were nine. All right. Maybe. Okay, maybe you're right. Anyway, but that's that. But that was really cool, and I just have to find a place to mount it, but it's really, really cool. All right, so anyway, 
Uh, so the birthday was good and uh, and all that. And uh, Tiger got me my favorite cake. It's the only cake I'll eat, which is German chocolate cake. Because I'm not a big sweets person, uh, but I will eat that, that cake. So she, she got that for me, which was very nice. Oh, my God. So rich. All right. So um, now, uh, anything else that we have to talk about outside of uh, vaping? Um, not really. Oh, well, at some point, I would like to share my dismay with the DMV. Yes, the ongoing saga of oh. the DMV, but that, we can we can wait. Yeah, we can, we can worry about that, uh, you know, after uh, after a little while. I just want to get through bait mail. And oh, it just gets deals. better. Oh, it gets better, guys. It's awesome. Uh, I'll, I'll put it this way. If I gave Tiger one of my handguns, she would have probably been in jail. <sighs> That's the way I'm going to say it. It, 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 was, it was that bad. I did fantasize briefly about the very satisfying sound it would make to grab her by the back of the hair and bounce her head off her desk a couple times, but... Ooh. Yeah. Got to tape that. Tiger wrestling. Then we could just get a pit, put some mud in it. Be like mud wrestling. Mm, yeah, no. <laughs> no. No, no. <laughs> Hashtag nope. Oh, we could put it on pay-per-view. That'd be awesome. Mm. All, right. Wow. All right. Anyway, so... um. Let's talk vape mail. Um, now, um, I think pretty much me and Tiger got the same thing. I got one extra thing, uh, but I'll let Tiger. You want to talk about uh, Invisivate first? Yes, I do. Um, then you can. All right, then I will. Um, now, we'll, 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 we'll get you guys linked up, but I want to show you what this is about. Uh, the guys from TVA, the wonderful uh, the wonderful <coughs> bunch, uh, of course, Freeze One and Mooch One, that brought you the, uh, the great conventions everybody loves to go to, Vape Mania and Vapor Slam. They uh, also run an adventure called Trade and Vape. Now, um, one of the new products over at Trade and Vape is this right here. What is this right here? This is an Invisivape. Invisivape. Okay. So you get the idea there? And what does this do? Well, this lets you, as they put it, vape respectively. Okay. So. No, responsibly. I thought it was respectfully. I think it's responsible. Whatever. I, I Whatever. think you're going to lose that bet. What happens if I do? Um, oh, wouldn't you like to know? I'll think of I'll think of it later. Um, in any case, all those places that they don't want to see clouds, this is this is your saving grace. So um, uh, now I'll be honest, I haven't even demoed this one yet. Okay, so you're gonna see it for the very first time, right here, right now. And uh, so, uh, with no further ado, I'll be sure to get your screenshots, guys. <laughs> Without Invisivate. <coughs> Nothing. Um, like, I was watching my camera when I did that, and the fact of the matter is, I didn't see anything. Now, if you were sitting here, you'd have seen the faintest crummy little wisp that you might have thought was a figment of your imagination it was so tiny so what this thing does is it basically eats your vape great for those stays in hotels uh great yes. for if you want to sneak a vape at a restaurant great for me when i go to my mom's because my mom loves that i'm vaping now and not sneaking outside for smokes uh she thinks that's great but she stills as much as she understands intellectually that it's harmless, there's still kind of that discomfort with the clouds I exhale. Now, she's she's never stopped me from <laughs> vaping. What? Oh, screenshot. I love it. I just, oh, I love come it. on. Um, in any case, she's never stopped me, but I know when I take this home with me for my next visit, she's going to be really pleased. So just, you know, a handy thing. I, I really think every vapor should have one of these in their arsenal just for those times that it would come in handy. You know, those times that you, you, you want your nicotine, you want your vape, but you're somewhere that 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 big exhale just would not be appreciated. So uh, great little product. Now, let me grab you guys a link. Um, and while she's doing that, I, I, t I have to tell you, um, I, I was using it. Um, 
at my birthday party, my grandfather uh, is 91. Uh, yeah. Great guy. Uh, you would never believe he was that old, but he, he's not too keen on the whole vapor thing. I mean, he's kind of old school. I, I, and uh, so basically, um, I was using it, and basically how this works is the, the harder you blow into it, the less vapor will come out. If you go slow with it, you'll get more vapor to come out. Yeah. Basically what this is, and I'm, I, it's a giant tampon. Oh, come on. Um, Yucky. It's, no, but it, that, and that's no free said that live uh, on Mount Envy when we were talking about it. There's just a wad of, of, uh, of, of um, there's a screen and then a wad of, uh, of cotton and a bunch of other stuff in here that basically trap the vapor. Um, and regardless of how simple it is, it's a great idea, um, especially, like I said, here in New Jersey where you can't vape anywhere public. Um, I take this to, with, with me to restaurants. Uh, now, basically, it kind of almost looks like a small, like, thing of, like, you know how people put water, like those water containers? It almost looks like a small water container. So when you put it in your mouth, it almost looks like you're drinking um, a little flask of water. Uh, it also kind of looks like a medical device, okay? So you could always be like, uh, you know, the classic Smokey used to do this. Oh, it's my vaporizer. It's for my lungs. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> but either way, it's a great idea. It's made of, uh, this is like a really hard plastic. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, he said these will last about a year, right? Um, with uh, Depending, on, I think, on how heavily you use it, six months to a year. If you used it tons and tons and tons, then probably closer to six months. Uh, but definitely longer if it's more of a um, once in a while thing. Now, I'm seeing a few comments in chat I want to address. Uh, Spy Goat says, empty a toilet paper roll and use some dryer sheets. Job done. Not exactly, uh, Spy Goat. It just does not uh, di make the vapor disappear. And it does not capture all of the scents. I know there are, uh, shall we say, factions of um, subcultures that like using that as a as a trick out so that uh, their little habit isn't as noticeable if they're trying to get away with doing right. it in the house. But th it just does not work the same for vaping. Right. Uh, whereas uh, uh, this does actually destroy the vapor, it's gone, and it also, there's no smell, there's no scent. So I can vape Shamrock in the house, and Joe would never know. But she would never do that. I would, I would do that because in a Because she, she'll just, she, she, she has something <laughs> called uh, uh, Maximum Vape, where it actually enhances the smell of the, uh, of the Shamrock. <laughs> But it hits me. Oh, so. I think I feel a shamrock bomb coming. Uh, out. but um, this is uh, this is now when uh, Freeze was on, Mon Envy talking about the Invisibate before we had them. Uh, people were talking about dryer sheets and toilet. He's like, no, it does not work. Yeah. it does not work. Uh, because vapor versus smoke are two different things. Uh, basically, people who smoke pot use the 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 dryer sheets because it's supposed to. It masks a, the smell. It basically masks the smell. And. Of the, uh, of, of of it and um some of the smoke but no i don't and this will not work with cigarettes okay yeah from what freeze told us this, yeah. this is not what this, this is, is meant designed for. This is, for vapor yes uh and he said basically after like eight months to a year um you'll start seeing condensation come out the, uh, the bottom and that's when it's time basically to replace it and he said it's like eight months uh to a year of, of, of very you know of a lot of vaping yeah. I think I'm going to go look now. How much are these? Now, uh, they are... Well, before you get too far ahead, Joe, I did drop the link in the room. Now, I did also uh, list the coupon code. Folks, I gave you that coupon code, but I'm not 100% sure it still works. Maybe while you're there, Joe, you can check the coupon code VaporJoe. Well, I'm sure it's going to work because I have it rolled down on my blog yet, and he's going to want to use that. So Okay, there you go. Okay, so that should still be. I thought it was, but I wanted to check. Now, Hunter wanted to know, uh, it should have been made so it can be opened and repacked. Well, really, Hunter, the way they designed this, um, it the, and the, for the price point, um, it's designed to be used until it's finished finished and then replaced so rather than go through the trouble of having to design um a, a repackable cartridge for it it's like just when it's spent toss it and grab another one yeah and for and really okay so with the coupon code this it comes to 17 dollars 99 and the shipping is free okay okay so within $2 the US. Off plus free plus free shipping yeah well yeah uh and um I, I think they're cool, man. Like when I first saw them, I was like, "This is gonna be weird," but I've been using it. It works great, and keeping it in my pocket. Um, <laughs> and, um, 
you know, um, this is uh, this this really works. Um, now they want to know. Uh, Jules wants to know. Do they ship to the UK? Jules, um, I don't know that you can order on site for UK, but drop them an email and they may be able to work something out for you. It seems to me uh, he had mentioned that for other interested parties. Right, and, so, and websites uh, are going to start buying bulk yeah. from them, and they're going to have them too. So um, you'll start seeing them popping up in the UK probably. You'll see them popping up all over the place. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really cool. And I saw somebody did some kind of paint job on it or something, and it was all red. It was cool. And who knows? Maybe even uh, Alon will start making wraps for it. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, making wraps for it or something. That would be cool. So, <clears throat> so that was the first vape mail. The other vape mail uh, isn't really vape mail. Um, and Scuba, this is for you in the room. Check it out. Represent Team Valor. Woo! So, yeah, I just had to share my, my Pokemon passion. Now, um, I did receive other vape mail courtesy of Joe. Thank you very much. But I confess it's been a crazy week. I'll, I'll fill you in on that in a minute. Uh, but... I haven't even opened it. I've got the shrink wrap still on it. Well, I could talk about it. So, gotta... yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little unboxing here while you talk about it. Okay. So, okay, so I've, this is how it works. Uh, like three or, no, about a month ago, I was like, why don't they make an, uh, an RTA, you know, a replaceable head uh, tank that has like more of a chuffy kind of top instead of the 510 drip tips, right? And lo and behold, I'm on Gearbest and Coil Art came out with one. Okay, it's called the Turok. Now, I ordered it and I got it. I got one for me and Tiger. I have it here. Uh, now, this little guy holds four mils. Let me tell you something. This tank is fucking amazing. It is so good. Holy shit, is it such a great tank? It's going to be one of the deals we're going to talk about today. Uh, comes in this little uh, little pack. Uh, comes with two heads of vape band. Really, really great tank. Coil art. I did a fantastic job on this tank. Let me show you, okay? I got it. This is only 50 watts. It is such a wonderful vape. The airflow on this is fantastic. The heads on this have a bajillion holes inside of them that get lots and lots of juice. Um, reminds me a lot of... Um, I always love the Clietos. Uh, this is like Clieto on steroids. This is so good. Now this particular, uh, this is a 0.5 ohm coil, and I, let me see the next one. I don't know if I can see it, what the ohm is on the other one. I'm not sure on the other one. I think the other one's a 0.3 in that area, I think. They're great. You're going to love it. Okay, really, really gonna love it. We're gonna talk about the deal uh, in a little bit. Oh well, Big Bamboo put it in in the room, so we might as well talk about it. Now, um, these come from I'm sorry, not uh, uh, Gearbest Fast Tech. Now, um, it says thirty ninety nine. Use coupon code MAP. It drops it down to nineteen bucks. Totally worth it, guys. I mean, completely worth it. It's such a great tank, um, and uh, this, it was exactly what I was looking for. Uh, finally, it, uh, you know, a tank that doesn't use a 510 drip tip uh, has a lot more airflow due to the top. The airflow on the bomb is fantastic. I know Tiger tried mine. She didn't like what I was vaping, but... Um... Sorry, I forgot to unmute myself. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, was, I was impressed with the vape, so I am anxious to get some juice in that's more to my taste so I can really, really check it out. But I'm, I'm setting it up as, as you speak, so we'll yeah. give it a shot. Um, right and... Now. Um, Let's see here. It's top. It's top. It's very simple. It's top filling. Uh, you open the bottom to replace the head. Uh, it doesn't get any more simpler than than uh, than uh, than that. And um, like I guess I've just been waiting for it. Now it looks super small, but it's fat. So she she uh, rocks four mils. Okay. This isn't a. Uh, it's so she's, she's girthy. We'll just say it's girthy. Um, holds about the same as a Clieto, basically, but it's just she's just fatter. So loving it. All right, I found something absolutely stellar. <coughs> I'm going to fill this baby with Mayfield and go for broke. And this is a tank I'm confident you can vape at very, very high wattage. Um, I don't like vaping um, a lot of my tanks over 50 watts just because, I don't know, 
I, I just... And for me, that's always rebuildable. Anything over 50, 60 watts is about as high as I go. This I vaped it at 80 watts, and it just, it's a very warm vape. I, I'm not a fan of warm vape, especially if I'm vaping fruit. I tend to like it on a cooler vape. Yeah. But, um, so I have this at uh, 52.9 watts, and it's just rocking and rolling, man. It is such a great tech. So if you pick it up, you won't be disappointed. I got it. I bought mine in August, and the pre-order was until September. So uh, it was September 9th it shipped. I got it. Um, no, I'm sorry. September 1st it shipped. I got it uh, 11 days. It took roughly about 11 days. Uh, so that's that. Get it. It's really good. All right. Well, I am going to leave mine to soak up a little bit. One of my favorite mistakes is always to fire ahead before it's had time to to uh, soak up the juice. So I'm just going to set this aside for a little bit, and we'll get back to it. Now, this was a this was a, my next piece of eight mil. This was a Labor Day deal. Uh, this was from eSig.com. This is the um, uh, eight cigar uh, VT75. Okay. This is the 70, DNA75. This uses a 26650 or a 18650. Uh, this is a great, great mod, okay? A fantastic mod. It is built so well. I'm so impressed by it. It was cheap. It was like 39 bucks uh, during Labor Day. I was like, screw this. I have to buy this. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of the 75 watt chip because you can get things like, you know, an RX200 for around the same price. But I was like, you know what? Let me just, let me see. It's cheap. They were going for like $99, $120, $39. $20, let me try it. So I picked up the black one. Basically, it's all black. It just has a little bit of a little red accent here and here. The buttons on this is fantastic. I have it using a uh, 26650. However, my 26650s are old. I just ordered uh, a bunch of Emirates to replace them. I'm still using an old MNKE. So if I try to fire this above like 45 watts, I get a weak battery, even when it's fully charged. So it's time to throw this 26650 away, and I will as soon as I get my Emirates. The only problem I find with this is if you use the adapter, uh, the adapter is here. This is the adapter you would put inside to use it 18650. The 18650 wobbles. I don't like that. Uh, and I haven't used it in the 18650 um, mode. Uh, I specifically bought this because it is a 26650. Uh, I think it's stupid to buy a 26650 device if you're not going to use it in 26650 you know, mode. Well, I think it's just nice to have that option because, you know, for those, you know, rare times when, oh, oh, darn, all the 2650s aren't charged. Well, you can always throw an 18650 in in, a, in a, an emergency, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the door, everybody's saying the door sucks. The door does kind of suck on this. You know, it's one of the ones you got to twist off. But basically what I do is I, I just leave the 26650 in there and it charges beautifully with the, with the uh, micro USB. Um, but, you know. Yeah, I don't like these kind of doors because, uh, you know, you can easily, like, uh, strip uh, the threading on these if you're not careful. But uh, other than that, it's great. Fantastic. Uh, now, I can't say get it because the sale is long gone. They're still going to be in the $70, $80 range. Some places will sell them for, like, 60 bucks, But I got lucky and got it for $39 on Labor Day well, from eSig.com. And, and talking about the battery door, it being that little uh, wafer, you know, that you screw into the hole to cover the battery. Um, one thing, and I used to do this regularly because there, we used to talk about mechanical mods and there was always things that needed to be threaded. So, but we haven't done that in a while. Let's, let's review. For anything that needs to, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and say it. For anything that needs to screw into anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laugh it up. Um, we have to. Uh, there's a little secret that my dad taught me when I was a kid. He's very mechanical, so am I, and it has served me well for decades, and I'll teach it to you right now. Uh, 510 connector is a great example. When you don't want to get it crooked, when you don't want to cross thread, in the case of those battery doors where you want to get it in straight, you don't want to cross thread, set it, seat it, and then don't turn forward, turn backward. At some point in the rotation, you're going to feel and maybe even hear a little click. That's when your threads have now fallen into place. Then you can start moving forward and it should go really, really smoothly. If it doesn't, if you have to force, if it feels really grindy, you didn't catch it. Go backwards again until you get that nice, satisfying little click when those threads just fall into place. 
now you're ready to go forward. So there you go. Right. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Uh, yeah. Th when I uh, when I first I when I first got an SX Mini, I destroyed the battery door on that fucking thing. I destroyed it. I, um, I basically I had, had had to live with that battery in it forever. Uh, and um, so um, yeah, you got to be careful. Got to be very very careful with these kind of uh, battery doors. But like I said. Um, Beautiful, beautiful mod. I'm very impressed. H cigar makes makes some really nice ones. I have an, a, you know, I have the 133 H cigar here. Another great, beautiful mod by them. Uh, this is again a, a DNA 200, but uh, dumbed down to 133 to use two uh, 18650s. Um, they make beautiful devices. Um, so, and uh, oh, and it also comes with this really cool um, beauty ring. I, I don't know if you can really see it on this camera, but it has these kind of like. Roman Greek symbol thingies on it. Basically, you don't have to use it, but if you know, it just gives it a, a nice little look. And uh, you basically just pop it down, and then you thread your Addy through it, and it, it stays in place. Um, very, very, very nice. Very, very nice one. Unfortunately, you can't get it at the price I got it at, though. Ha <laughs> ha. You snooze, you lose. Uh, but. But, but that's but that, them's the breaks. Them's the breaks. Yeah. All right. Any other vape mail? Um. Let's see. I don't think so. Well, I'm supposed to be getting some juice from uh, Andy Han. Um. He says it is in my UPS box. Uh. So I'm gonna go tomorrow to pick it up. It was too late when he told me it was delivered. But I guess it's kind of vape mail Weirdo. because. It's in it's in it's in Jersey. I just don't have it, <laughs> so it's it's half eight now. Yeah, looking forward to trying that one. He, uh, they're calling it Weirdo, and apparently it's a fruity nerdy candy. So. Yeah, good. Yes, I am rubbing it in. <laughs> Completely rubbing it in on you. All right, so that um. Uh, that is it for vape mail. I'm just trying to make sure here. Yep. Uh, oh, well. I did. We did order uh, the breezy from the breezy sale too, right? I'm still waiting on that. Yeah, yeah. Juice. I can hardly wait because that means I will once again have Thai boba to enjoy. Oh, yes. I can hardly wait. All right. So let's get to some deep. All right. Half, already had 33 minutes into the show. That went super fast. All right. Let's do it. Oh, oh. We got a user in the room. Root beer got their vapor flask classic, and they are enjoying it. Thanks. Oh, great. Glad to right. hear it. Now, root beer, while you're in the room, I know gonna, there's going to be a bit of a delay here. Uh, was I right when I told you, for the price you paid, isn't it fucking incredible for the price you pay? Um, the, the quality of, of that mod. It's not some crappy, shitty mod. It is totally worth the, the price. And we're going to be talking about that because we should line it up right now. Because it actually just went back on sale. They were beast hit me up yesterday. Let me make sure if it's still there. It's still rocking and rolling. Because they just sell it kind of fast. Come on, Vapor Beast. There we go. And uh, Big Bam's got the link in the room for everybody. Okay. Now, the Vapor Flask Classic. I have one here, actually. Um, this is the deal that, uh, Vapor, Be uh, that Vapor Beast is doing and Big Bam put in the room. Um... That's the vapor flask. Well, why is it called a vapor flask? Well, it looks like a flask that you put whiskey in. Uh, that's the, the, the style. And it actually is great to hold. It's a fantastic... It fits your palm so perfectly. It kind of curves in. And the button is in the just the best place in the whole world. Uh, basically, it has a magnetic door. It holds two 18650s. Pops right back on. This one's the white one. Uh, you can either buy white or black. I uh, chose the white one many, many, many months ago. I paid... I paid eighty dollars for mine. I thought it was a deal because they were going for I think it's like one hundred and ten or one hundred twenty bucks when they first popped. Uh, with this uh, and the coupon code nineteen bucks, you get it for like thirty eight dollars. Okay, thirty eight dollars for a hundred and fifty watt vapor flask classic. It is a fantastic, well built mod. Um, now the person in the rooms, they said they got theirs. Did they say? Uh, let me just go back up. Oh yeah, so good. I bought both the black and the white. Very, very nice. Awesome. 
Uh, now, Vape Forward makes really great mods. I have been um, buying Vapor Flasks since their alpha version, where basically the batteries just stayed inside. You couldn't replace them. Uh, and that was a DNA 30, I believe, back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, I paid $219 for the first Vapor Flask. And I bought three of them. I bought one for me, I bought one for Tiger, and I think I bought one for a giveaway on Mod Envy. Um, and everybody was pissed because I bought the last three. It was like me and Zen were at the booth. Zen bought one, and I bought the last three, and it was over. Uh, but uh, trust me, you're going to want this. And it ships free. Okay, because anything over uh, 35 bucks to pay for these ships free. So you're going to get this amazing mod for 38 bucks. It's going to ship free. It ships from America. You're going to get it fast. Vapor Beast is an awesome place. And like I said, I can't get over how they're, how they're making money on this. I have no idea. Now, there is a question in the room, and I see Scuba's already got it. But for those listening, uh, they want to know, is the black one slippery at all? What's that finish like? Now, Scuba has already said it's more of a flat black matte finish. Yeah. Uh, the black finish is is the same in term of texture and feel as the white. And yep. you've got the white one in hand. It's not slippery at all. No, it's not slippery. Um, it's I, I wouldn't say. I don't know. It's The inside here is a little rough almost. Like, like they thought about that. You know what I mean? It's a it's a matte finish, and it's it's. Well, I wouldn't say rough, but it's it's got some tech, and I shouldn't even say it's got some texture to it. It's it's it. I think, vel almost a velvety. Yeah, but it's not, not. It's not. Not like the old egos, where it's almost yeah. rubbery. Not like that. It's uh, it's a flat, matte. Yeah, I guess that's the best way to put it, Scuba. Flat black matte finish. Yeah, yeah it's it's gonna stick in your hands. Yeah. Basically, it's just not slippery. Now, there's a picture of there of the, of the uh, stainless steel one. Now, these are stainless steel; they're just painted. But um, the the stainless steel one, I'd love to get my hands on one for thirty eight bucks, uh, but they don't offer it. Um, that is, I would buy completely buy. I'd probably buy two of them if I could in stainless steel. Gorgeous the way they do them. Um, but uh, great mod. So get over to Vapor Beast, like I said. Uh, it's 38 bucks and change with the coupon code, and you get free shipping and all the other good stuff. Vapor Beast uh, ships out pretty fast. And, so, uh, and having used one, there is one little thing that nobody's mentioned, and that is when you get a mod that's just the thin rectangle, that's the width of an 18650, you know, they'll stand on your desk, but they can get knocked over. You know, not hugely easily, but without too much trouble, you can knock one of these over. The Vapor Flask, being slightly curved, it almost stands up just a little more. Um, yeah, you can awesome. still knock it over, but because it's got that curve to it, it kind of doesn't want to fall over as easily as something maybe like this. So, it's, you know, kind of, I, I think that's kind of cool, you know, because I get yeah. sick of playing mod dominoes. Yeah, and they make, and there's a great uh, 510 connector on this. Um, that's the other thing I wanted to point out. Great 510 connector, and you can see that slit in there, that's for airflow. Um, it's a it's a it's it's one of the best 510 connectors. Um, it's basically it's my favorite 510 connector. Uh, it's just it's just a solid, awesome connector. Uh, and again, built great. So that's that on the on the vapor flask. Uh, like I said, that guy just bought two. Uh, like I, th well, the first time this went live, uh, I told people I said buy them and let me know. I promise you, you're gonna love them. And uh, a bunch of people in done deal in Mon Envy uh, were putting in like, "Oh my God, I can't believe I got this so cheap." A guy in here just said he bought two, uh, one white, one black, and he loves them. So check it out. All right. So that is all right. That is all right. <laughs> okay. Now there's a lot to talk about. I just want to see. Let's talk some. Let's talk. Let's talk juice. All right. Let's do. Um. You now, um, I just put this up about uh, an hour ago. Uh, this is going to be. Um, now, hold on. I'm gonna go over. Yes, I'm 18. Oh my God. <laughs> Twice. A few times over. Wow. Okay. Yes, thank you, Big Man Boom. Um, this is fucking vapor. They just uh, came back out with the new sale. Now, the sixty to sixty for six, the sixty for six hundred mils has been around for a while, but they came out again 
with the uh, the 360 for forty dollars. Okay, so um, you know, for those of you out there who don't want to spend sixty bucks uh, and commit to six hundred mils of juice, uh, you could save a few bucks and, and get the 360 for forty bucks. Now, um, the uh, you know what? I'm looking at my own deal and I have to fix it because in my deal I put 400 mils for 40 bucks. Oh, and somebody's going to piss and moan about that, right? Well, you know, you better correct it. While you do, we do have a, a, a viewer in the room. Larry DeBarge says it's darn decent juice, too. So he's already had a chance to try it. That's cool. Thanks for the, uh, the review, as it were, Larry. All right, let me do this now. 360 and 360, because somebody is going to scream at me. How dare you? You're lying. It's 40 mils difference. Blah, blah. You can believe the See, hate mail. Even, even Vapor stuff. Joe makes a mistake here and there. Okay, updated. Okay, great. Anyway, so um, so if you don't want to commit to the big to the big uh, 60 bucks, you can commit at 40 and get 360 mils of juice. Very, very good, very, very good price. Um, and basically, you're getting, uh, you know, the 600 mil level, you're getting 100 mils for 10 bucks. Okay, at the forty dollar level, it's like you know whatever eleven dollars or twelve dollars for a hundred bucks. Uh, from what I've he been hearing, and I've been pimping them quite a bit because their prices are so good. Uh, I've been hearing very very good things about about uh, fucking uh, e juice, and I love the name. <laughs> like I'm like I'm surprised I didn't come up with this name. <laughs> my only you know, complaint with the name is my son is learning to read uh, and he's really ahead of himself. And uh, he was looking over my shoulder while I was checking out this deal. And mom, that says fuggin. And it's like ah <laughs> yeah, don't repeat that around grandma, okay? <laughs> just just saying. Um, but but uh, yeah yeah that could that could be a problem. The only time uh, yeah he'll pick it up like. Two seconds. Uh, so they rebooted the deal today at five o'clock. Uh, use code, uh, uh, coupon code Big Fuggin Deal will get you six hundred mils for sixty bucks. Little Fuggin Deal will get you three sixty for forty bucks. I haven't ordered any because I need more juice, like a hole in the head, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, I, it's just you know I have so much so much juice, uh, but uh, you know I. I People, you know, when they order, they, they, they'll they come and done deal or they'll come in Mont Envy and they'll just say, oh, you know, thanks, this is a great deal or yeah. thanks, this juice is really good. And, um, well, so far, so good. And trust me, vapors are very critical. If it's if, if somebody said, you know, if somebody bought it for 60 bucks, it's like, Vapor Joe, you made me spend 60 bucks on this shitty juice, I'd hear about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, you touched on a good point, Joe. When you do take advantage of one of the deals, please pop into the Done Deal group. Let us know you're happy. Uh, let's other people know which ones are, are working out really, really well for you and uh, which ones they want to take advantage of, too. And we love to hear back from you about your good experiences with some of these deals. So uh, pop into the group. Let me grab that link for you. And uh, do share because we want to hear back. Yeah, definitely. Of course, um, we are some of the uh, biggest uh, victims of our own deals. But uh, oh, let's see here. What have I got going on? Um, but one of the things, you know, we can't, of course, take advantage of every deal. So, oh, and by the time I get the link, Big Bam's got it posted three times. Why should I? Why should I think otherwise? Thank you, Big Bam. So yeah, join the group, and uh, when you do grab one of the great deals off the blog, let us know. Yes, definitely. Um, and um, you know, also if you're gonna buy juice deals, uh, let us know what flavors you got. So we yeah. Can, uh, you know, so if everybody's, you know, everybody's talking about a specific flavor, you know, in the future, if I want to buy, I'll be like, oh, okay, everybody's been talking about this flavor. Let me just get that one. <laughs> All right. So that's that on that particular juice deal. Get over there and check it out. Um, also, check out his deal section. Uh, he'll He's pairing juice with, with hardware. Uh, so you can get like a tank and just 120 mils of juice, you know, for like $24. And he's doing it with mods and all kinds of stuff. So um, check that area out, too. All right. So let's talk 101 vape. Oh, I like 101 vape. I like 101 vape too. I do. I do. They are nice. They are fast. They have the fastest shipping. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. All the way across the country, and it takes like a day. He, I don't. I don't know what kind of deal he's got with USPS, but uh, it's almost like he ships before you order. I think he's yes. psychic. Yes, he is. Now, um, right now, he has this crazy clearance sale going on, you know, and, uh, 
you know, you, you, yeah, get a lot of stock. You gotta, you gotta let things go, right? Some of the stuff in here are like seventy percent off. Whew. Now I put in a few, um, a few of the the ones I found that were. Oh, is it gone? Is it gone? Well, that one's gone. Apparently. Let's see here. Oh no, I see the problem. Something else I have to fix. Oh my goodness, you've been having a rough I know for reals, right? <laughs> Give me one second. I had two L's on the .html. Okay. Okay, and update. Jesus. Okay. Uh, so, let me get back over there now. They have this really, really cool mod. Um, and I've just got to get there real fast. Publish. Thank you. And view. Okay, there we go. Hold on. Oh, the the anticipation's killing me. I know, for real. Revert to this stupid uh, system is driving me nuts. Just give me one second, guys. <clears throat> Scuba says the eager is sold out. The eager? The eager. Puxiusi? Okay, fine. And yes, no, D. Right. Millen, they are one of the few that accept Bitcoin. Very, very forward thinking. So if you have Bitcoins, you can spend them at 101. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, that was the one that I that the link was screwed up on the eager. Uh, it was a 120 watt box mod. Uh, has a really really uh, cool screen. Uh, well, that one's gone. Uh, 24.99. That is that is no longer. But there are other things uh, on the list. Give me one. Well, I'm glad it sold out because now um, it doesn't matter if that link was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Go me, right? Okay. So, Go me. So let's see. Now they have a uh, 50 watt. A four, now this this one's out of stock too. The thin ass. Yep, gone. For the price, though, can you can you? Can you well, uh... yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. We got something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what you got? <laughs> the one that's that's in stock. Uh, we got the Snow Hat Trick Sub Ohm Tank. Um, basically, uh, it's a, it's a lot like a um, I'm gonna say the um, the TF4 in a sense. The, um, it has a three head system. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, coming in at just twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. That was the um, Arctic or uh, the the turbo, right? Not not well, the TFV four. Well, no, in the sense that the, the Arctic uses its three separate heads. We yeah. had to screw them in. This actually has one head that uses that has three heads in it. Oh, so kind of reminds I see. me. Of, okay. Well, let me. You know what I mean? I get you now. The way I was looking at the picture, it did look like three separate. Let's uh, bring let's bring it up so that uh, they understand what we're talking about. All right, here we go. Doop. There you go. There it is, the hat trick. And uh, this is the head that Joe's talking about. There you go. Woo. Okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. Show them the picture. There you go. So yeah, I see what you mean now. Oh my God! You have to be kidding me. The heads are out of the, head, the heads are out of stock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Well, everybody <laughs> bought hat tricks uh, and uh, and grabbed heads at the same the heads time. Heads are out of stock. So. Well, anyway, if you want to try a hat, it, it, all right. This this deal is just killing the air. If you want a hat trick, uh, you could get the hat trick. Just getting the replacement heads here, you can't because they're out of stock. Well, not right but, now, anyway. But uh, that is a great deal. A tank that was regular priced forty bucks down to thirteen, twelve ninety nine. Right. right. So if you just want to try, it's going to come with you know a few heads with it anyway. So, um, you know, for twelve bucks, just try it. I mean, uh, you know, I think maybe I should pick up a couple, do a uh, you know, add to the giveaway list on um, on Envy or something. Hmm. Uh, but uh, I love buying sub -ohm tanks cheap, even if they're older, even if they're like just like regular Heracles or a regular sub tank. Oh, or yeah, yeah, the Heracles Atlantis is... or whatever. It's still worth 12 bucks. For sure. No, the Heracles is still great. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. What else do we have that's still that's at the stock? Okay. Now, this one's kind of funny because it is a, it is a, um, it is a, uh, a tube mod, but it's cheap. It's $7.99. Okay, and it comes with all three tubes. So if you want uh, 18650, 18500, 18350, um, 
basically if you want to try what you know what a tube mod is. Many of us do box mods. A lot of new vapors don't even know what a tube mod is anymore. Uh, if you pick it up, it's seven dollars ninety nine cents. You know, and uh, bomb firing uh, looks like it's all uh, either brass or copper. I'm gonna go with brass because uh, it's uh, brass and. I've, Oh no! Actually, it's all copper. Yeah, I was just gonna say it's got a brass cap, but uh... yeah, it is all copper. Look at that! It's a great price for for a uh, for a for a copper mod. Yep. All right, so seven dollars and ninety nine cents. Let's see what else we got here. Eight, 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 and eight bucks nets you all of the tubes. Yes. So you know that's very versatile if you're into a mechanical experience. Now here's an, another mechanical, uh, another uh, tube mod, the Legion. Um, now this actually has a matching uh, atomizer. There's a Legion atomizer too uh, out there that you could find that'll actually match this. Uh, basically, uh, it's a. It looks like it's a copper mod with a sleeve that goes over it, different colors. Again, seven dollars ninety nine cents. I'm firing. All right, I gotta get um, the new picture up. I still had the other one. Let's let's do that. Um, while while I'm fumbling, Joe, um, there was a question about the fuggin' deal, the big fuggin' deal. Um, you can get different juices. Uh, Root Beer wants to know, yeah. Tiger, can you get five different juices? Well, yes, dear. They don't expect you to get 600 or 360 you mils of the same flavor. You must get 600 mils of the same juice. Yeah. <laughs> well, you better really like it. If it was Mad Scope, I'd do it in a heartbeat. But no, no, no. Seriously, yeah, you can definitely uh, uh, cha uh, change it up so that yeah. you'd, yeah, have to, you'd have to be really committed to one flavor otherwise. <laughs> Yes. Um, all right. So, uh, so another tube mod coming in seven dollars and ninety nine cents. And there uh, she is, the Legion. Pretty cool looking. I like I like the the Legion. Now, if you don't understand, it's kind of like supposed to be like those uh, helmets. Yeah. That the guys from like Three Hundred Warrior or what have you. So it has that uh, really cool look to it. We are Sparta. So that's that. Another one for seven ninety nine. You know, it's just something to add to your collection. Now, I'll remember these tiger. All right. And Tiger will remember this. Oh. Because Tiger put these on her, her blog once. Oh, you're killing me. By the time I get the pictures up, you're moving on. All right. Bring it on. I'm ready. The Let's next do it. one's the Cats RDA. Remember that one? I do. I totally do. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I like this atomizer because of the way the airflow works. Now, let me bring up the picture because, I mean, it's a little out of the way. It didn't get a lot of... Um, a, a lot of press, okay? But th this particular atomizer has a real cleverness to it besides the fact that it has a super awesome picture of a cat on it. Uh, and let me explain. You'll see that the... I'm going to come up here. You see the holes at the top on the cat. What happens is there's like a, a sleeve inside and there's airflow in between. So what happens is your airflow draws in the top from this hole. It comes down to do, 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 and it goes in underneath. So, um, or at the bottom. So it does feed your coils the way you're used to, but this is a really, really, really hard uh, dripper to flood. And, and I, I love that about it. Um, because it's one of the best ones I had when I was into building and uh, taking a dripper. I liked, this is one of the only drippers I would take away from my desk that I would maybe go for a walk with or something like that because I wasn't so worried about flooding it or having juice leaking out the airflow. So uh, definitely a bonus there. Plus, it's just really cool to look at. I, I love it. Right. And it's an older it. RDA. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. This, this, this but, guy's about a year and a half old. But for four yeah. bucks? Yeah, it's four bucks. Seriously? Yeah. I mean, grab one just because they're freaking cool. Yeah, it's four bucks. You know, and, uh, But that's an example of, of you know, what's going on in clearance. Uh, now, just, just looking around anything else in the clearance section. Um Give me a second. Oh, here. Big Bam pulled up one of the original links. Yeah, that one, uh, and that's the point, Big Bam. Um, that that was a great deal too. That was uh, seven bucks from Fast Tech back when. But um, now, instead of waiting for it to cross the big pond and paying seven bucks, you can pay four bucks, and it's going to get to you absolutely smoking fast from 101 locally. Or, right well, now, also, if you guys are into if you guys are into Cosmic Fog, um, just in his clearance section right now. Um, I don't want to get your hopes up with all the See here, Nick level three. Okay, good. If you guys are into Cosmic Fog, uh, 15 mils. I believe these are 15 mil bottles. $5.99. Uh, so uh, that's cheap, uh, especially for Cosmic Fog. Uh, so like I said, if you go into their clearance section, these are just some of the ones I uh, I took out of there. Um, there are a few others that I should actually start putting back in. Uh, I think he added to it since I put the deal uh, on my site. 
Uh, let's see here. Um, got some cool batteries if you need some 18350s, 18500s. Um, if you're if you need like a 18350 for whatever reason, two dollars and ninety nine cents. These are 10.5 amps. Uh, they got the 18500s. I think those are 11 amps. Uh, and then they have the nipple uh, 18350s uh, uh, that are the 10.5 amps. All for like anywhere between 350 to two dollars and ninety nine cents. Really cheap. Joe said nipple. I did say nipple. All about the nipple. All right, and let's see. Anything else in there? And there's some, and there's some old school stuff in there, like really old school stuff that I was looking at, which is kind of funny. I like old vaping nostalgic stuff. <clears throat> so yeah, check and... it out. The clearance. Oh, yeah. oh, and then they have the I just. Um, this is actually a oh, damn. It's out of stock. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Always, you know, it's like, oh, this is awesome. It's uh, out of stock. Anyway, so check out the clearance section over there. You're really going to like it and uh, buy it before all goes out of stock. All right. Well, while you queue up the next deal, should I share my latest uh, chapter of DMV Actually, Horror? Actually, do that because I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have to stand up for just a second. because uh, Stand and... up and stretch your back. All right, you do that. And I'm going to refill my, uh, my juice. I'll be right back. All right. Well, you guys have been following along as I have been assimilating, or at least trying to assimilate, uh, to the U.S. Of course, last week I shared with you uh, the horror of uh, discovering that uh, they, they were giving me the gears. They didn't like the fact, I, I went to get my driver's license. It's really that simple. And I have an absolutely spotless driving record in Canada. I'm very proud of it. And uh, I've been driving for 30 years, so it shouldn't be a problem, right? It should be pretty straightforward, you would think. Well you would think um i get there with all of my proper paperwork and uh the the first time i went uh they they kind of put a monkey wrench in because i hadn't brought a letter that showed my current address so i was turned away and uh, when i returned the second time i thought okay i i brought three letters this time from official uh you know government agencies and banks uh we should be we should be laughing now no. Then they then they found something they didn't bother to tell me about the first time I was there, even though they looked over all of my credentials. Um, my middle initial is on my employment authorization card, uh, the red card, and my middle initial is not on my social security card. They said, oh, this is not, it, it has to be the same. I said, it's a middle initial. Come on. You know it's me. You know it's the same person. Oh, no, no. It has to be the, the middle initial. I said, well, you're telling me I've actually got to get a new social security card. Yeah. So I was livid, but I jumped through the hoop. I did that. I went, I had to make another appointment, go back to social security, get them to print a new card. They laughed. Uh, they, the, the, the woman I spoke to, it was a Friday and she literally said that is the dumbest thing I have heard all week. I said, yeah, you know, I, I couldn't make this stuff up, but she processed it for me and I did receive my updated card. So I thought, okay, all right, now I'm doing this. So I went back and uh, thought, you know, this time for sure we got this on lockdown. I am getting a driver's license today. So uh, I, I got in line, uh, got through all the checks and everything like that. They liked everything they saw. Everything was good. I paid my fee. They sent me to do the written exam. I passed. And as soon as I get back up to the counter, she goes, well, you passed. Congratulations. But uh, we have a problem. I said, okay, what's the problem now? Well, my driver's license from back home has my old married name on it, naturally. And uh, all of my credentials, you know, my birth name is accounted for, my current married name is accounted for, but my past married name from my divorce, there's nothing linking. And that, and they're like, well, you know, um, we don't know that's you. <laughs> I said, it's the same name that's on my passport. Whip that out too. Oh yeah, I brought that with me. I brought everything. And they said, well, we can't be sure. I said, this is photo ID, both of them. I held them both up to my head. I said, you know, like, isn't that what photo ID is supposed to prove that it's really you? And uh, she said, well, I'll get my supervisor. So when I reiterated that to him, he says, no, no, I've, I've taken the, uh, you know, photo identification, the, uh, you know, computer generated, blah, blah, blah. 
uh, you know, ID matching. Uh, and, and we've actually had somebody in with 31 different driver's licenses and it, it didn't pick up. And I said, I literally looked at him and said, who would go through this process more than once? <laughs> like, seriously. In any case, uh, they literally are demanding me to get, an, and a copy won't work. I, I keep a digital copy. No, not good enough. It's got to be an original marriage certificate from a marriage that took place in 1994 and dissolved 16 years ago. I can't make this stuff up, folks. So I am paying, I am, I, by the time I get that and have it like FedEx both ways overnighted and pay all of the fees associated, it's going to cost me in the neighborhood of $250 to get a $10 driver's permit for New Jersey. DMV, I have a special message for you. Well, well I didn't hear you. What was it, huh? Oh, it was very visual, Joe. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All right, it. All right, there you go. Now I see it. Okay, okay, okay. A little bit of delay there. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, the funny thing is, is New Jersey's DMV is actually privatized. The state doesn't run it anywhere. And it was actually kind of good. But apparently, if you're an immigrant and not Mexican, um, oh, easy it goes, now. No, because they seem to just fly through. Well, you know, that's not that's not their fault. But yeah, for whatever reason, they are just running me through the ringer. But. Yeah, I know. It's like, what? You're white and want to come to America? What? No, no, no. This doesn't happen. You know, so anyway, uh, this is, uh, it's really everything, the whole process of, of, of trying to get my wife to be allowed to stay here permanently and doing the simplest of things is like getting a driver's license oh i think the only thing that was simple here was opening a bank account and getting a social security card other than that everything took forever i swear to god i'm waiting to walk in there for the fourth time and have them ask me for the results of my latest colonoscopy but <laughs> stop <laughs> i was like drinking when you did it. Anyway. Well, I won't tell you what I'll do if they uh, ask me for that, but because that's even worse. But you just, just get up and take a dump right on on the on the, uh, on the it's over. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. That's but what you get. I was thinking of mooning them, but anyway. Yeah. Well, no, that's a good thing. So yeah, don't moon them. Anyway, so yeah, it was a big pain. And every and she she came back here, man. I she's gonna kill somebody. I swear, it, I, I, when I got back this time, I was shaking, vibrating mad, and uh, yeah, I said, you just about needed bail money today, but anyway, what good would it yeah, do? Yeah, so, we'll, we'll get her done eventually, hopefully. Yeah. All right, so, enough of uh, the DMV. I actually yeah. put something on her. Yeah, uh, really enough. I actually put a little Family Guy uh, when he plays uh, DMV. It's fucking hilarious on her time. Yeah, line. you did that right before the show, so I haven't got to see it yet. But uh, definitely uh, head on over to Facebook and see what Joe's uh, poking at me. Uh, we... Okay, so let's let's talk batteries. Uh, do they, they All right, let's anymore? do. Now, yes, did you want to talk more about the deal on the um, tar Tarek? Are we Tarek? returning to that? No, no, because we, we did it. We talked quite a bit about it. Oh, we okay. All right. You said you were going to talk about it later, too. So I was uh, waiting to see if I needed that. Well, how about, did you, did you, what, uh, do you have yours ready? Uh, well, it, I, I would say it's been sitting for the whole show. If it hasn't soaked up some juice by now, it's never going to. Well, go for it, girl. Let's see how she vapes. All right. Oh, dry hit. No, I'm kidding. Mmm. Mmm. Lots of vapor, and that's only at 50 watts. I think it wants more. Let's uh, bring it up. We'll bring it right up to 60 and see what it see what it thinks of that. Mm. Nice thick vapor, and that juice is so great. I've got infamous uh, Mayfield in here, a chocolate caramel cream. Um, Can I try? Say what? Can I try? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think there's a little extra juice because I primed the head really good, so you might get a little spatter, but. Yeah, this is not for me, that juice. Oh, I love it. 
Love, love, love it. But that is a nice tank, for sure. Uh, you know what it reminds me of? It, it has a, 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 like an RDA feel. Yeah, it, well, with that know, with that little uh, stubby little chuck <coughs> cap, for sure, yeah. It's like an RDA for, or an RDTA um, uh, feel with uh, the, in, a, in a normal tank. Uh, the airflow on this is fantastic. Yeah. Really, really nice. Uh, yeah, but, I uh, like a wide open airflow because I basically breathe through it and uh, definitely has that. Yeah, this is a winner. Coil good, art, good pick. Yeah, and Coil Art makes great coils, period. I mean, they started off making replacement heads for other subtle tanks. Then they started making their own, uh, you know, of course, commissioning trying to do it. And they have a whole bunch of tanks. It's not just this one. They have a bunch of RT, uh, RTAs, RTDAs, whatever you want to call them. And um, so um, I put a few uh, different ones on my blog. I've uh, only bought this one, so I can only attest that this is fucking great. This is such a great tank. All right. So. I'll just share the picture. Um, now, for those of you looking for... 20, since we talked about a 26650 mod, and there are 26650 mods. Um, oh, speaking of batteries, let me explain something to you. Uh, you're not going to be able to be getting any. Uh, this has nothing to know. I just want to tell you, this has nothing to do with the FDA. Okay, this happened a few years ago, uh, <laughs> where basically all lithium ions were were basically on lockdown from China. Um, right now, Gearbest, Fastec. Uh, are not going to be shipping any regular batteries or mods with lithium-ion batteries in it unless you want to spend a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, they're not going to be... They can't ship it through the normal channels right now. Uh, don't know why. Um, it just kind of happens every few years. Yep. It happened um, a few years ago. And that lasted about, about six months. Yeah, uh, and, and then they find another carrier that's willing to do, and and it's on again. So I wouldn't I wouldn't panic at this point. Let's talk. Let's let's consider it a temporary uh, setback. But hold on, I got I got to mute. I got to blow my nose. <laughs> so like the, the pair of these for sixteen ninety five. <sighs> And free shipping. All right, you didn't even catch that. I'm joking, and you didn't, you didn't even say a word. Oh, sorry. What was the joke? <laughs> I, I said all that cocaine I do. Oh yeah. Please. I am because I you don't know how thin I've gotten since I started this new cocaine diet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, anyway. Um. Anyway, so getting back to. That's not uh, funny. Um. Getting back to it. Uh. Did he put it in the room? I. Yep. Yep. The the link is there, and this is from yeah, okay. the U.S. Of course. Yes. So all my next, my battery deals now are going to be, a lot of it's going to be eBay. Because uh, eBay is a great place to look for batteries. So these are the ones I bought uh, to replace my MKs. Um, Emrin. Um, now, this will be the first set of Emrin 26650s I'm using. But everybody likes the regular 18650s. So I figured these are uh, good enough. Um, and since there's a lot of 26650 batteries, I mean, uh, mods coming out. Uh, like, you know, like I just showed you this one. They're, st they're starting to make a comeback. Uh, people are going to start looking for them. Uh, your older 26650 batteries, even though the amperage is high enough, you probably haven't used them in a while, like me. And like my MNKEs, which are enough to power uh, a lot of my mo uh, these mods, they're just, they're not working right because they've been sitting around. They have, you know, they've been charged, but it seems like they're just, uh, they're just not, they're not doing it like they used to anymore. So, you know, after a couple of years, you probably just want to cycle them out. They're not expensive. Again, uh, sixteen ninety five for two of them, uh, free shipping from the United States. It's about all I can say. You know, if you need good twenty six six fifties, Emron's a, a good company. If you could find Sony fifty amps, though. Oh man, yeah. Now that's the caviar of twenty six six fifties are the Sonys. They are so hard to find. When you do find them, they're expensive. They're like twenty bucks each. Mm -hmm. uh, but they were the the, the most beautiful uh, uh, twenty six six fifties uh, you could get until Sony stopped making them. Uh, but there are people out there with them, and they charge an arm and a leg for them. Um, and I saw a few on eBay, but I was just like, $26 for a battery? <laughs> Can't do All right, it. you know, I don't like them that much. But uh, I, I wouldn't even want to use it. It costs so much. You know? <laughs> it's like, I just like, I'll just look at it and rub it with a diaper. Like, what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> you know, for $26. Uh, anyway, so um, that's that's that. Uh, so a lot of my battery deals, no more Gearbest, no more Fast Tech. 
uh, yeah. because of uh, and they had great prices, you know. Uh, but uh, till it's solved. Now, if you're gonna buy a bunch of batteries, like if you get a whole bunch of your friends together, I think it's like twenty-two dollars to ship batteries uh, from Fast Tech or Gear Best, and they're using mm -hmm. a special like DHL, and it's expensive. But if you're gonna buy, you know, twenty or thirty batteries, it may be worth it. Yeah. Uh, and you'll get them fast too, because they're gonna use uh, DHL or whatever. So. Mm -hmm. They have to use a special lithium. But it's funny. They can still sell cell phone batteries. They can still sell you, uh, you know, these things, which are just full of lithium ion. It makes no sense to me. As with many things. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It's so stupid. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, so if you're looking for good 26650s, there you go. All right. Any other questions in the room, Tiger, while I look? No, no. That was pretty straightforward. Okay. So, what else you got? Uh, let's talk. Let's see. All right. Um, yeah. Here's another sub ohm tank we could talk about. Uh, the new Clieto 120. Uh, -oh. uh basically, this is a Clieto on steroids. Um, now <clears throat> I did buy. Uh, I did buy one. I haven't gotten it yet. Uh, this is coming from My Freedom Smokes, again, American company. Use code uh, VaporJoe13. You'll get it for nineteen ninety seven, which is a good price. It's brand new. They just came out. So uh, anything under 20 bucks for a brand new tank, especially Clietos. If the Clieto original, which I'm using right here, is good, you know this one's going to be good. Mm -hmm. uh, they're calling it the 120 because they believe you can vape this at 120 watts and be okay. Uh, so... Yeah, they're suggesting a range of 100 to 120 watts. So that's yeah. that's an aggressive tank. And that's a and it's a 0. 0.16 ohm head. So Ooh. we're 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 getting down there for for tanks. Wow. And, um, uh, so I ordered one. I am not going to vape it at 120 watts though. I mean, <laughs> knowing me, the day I vape at 120 watts, this it'll have like a, it'll be like the driest hit ever. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to load it up with juice. I'm going to crack her up to 120 watts. I'm going to hit it, and it's going to be like death. Like that one time, huh? Oh, yeah. That was, that was uh, well, it's funny in hindsight. Well, I'll put it that way. Yeah, that felt like, uh, yeah, that felt like death down the lungs, man. That was rough. But uh, 120, uh, 120 watt uh, Clieto, really, really, uh, really, really great price. Again, coming from My Freedom Smokes. Uh, great company. They do excellent DIY. Vapor Joe 13 works on everything on their website. That's 13% off anything you buy on that site. Wow. Okay. Nice. So, and that coupon code is forever. That doesn't ever. That doesn't ever uh, go away. It's not special. Uh, so uh, basically, you know, what I like to do is find something cheap, and then you know, something like a Clieto or whatever, and uh, you know, minus 13%, and it comes down to a really good price. It goes on the block because you know. That's the way you got to do it. So uh, if you guys are looking, if you like the Clieto and you want to go a little bit more aggressive, Clieto 120 is the way to go. Now, I don't know if it uses the original Clieto heads. N um, no, it wouldn't. Um, that That's, well, it, uh, well, could it? Um, now, that's a good question. Well, the thing is, is I'm noticing something. If you look at the, the picture, the actual area where the cotton is, is very fat. Yes. And then the top piece is about the size of the original Clieto head. Yeah, we'd have to find out. So, you know, maybe they maybe they are interchangeable. I don't know. Mm -hmm. For this. But uh, definitely the original Cleo, uh very, very impressive. Great flavor on such an aggressive tank. So I'm really, really um, curious to see what they've done with this. If the flavor is going to be as good with the with the way more uh, production. Now, Scoob is saying the coil on the 120 is the chimney. So, so they are different. Okay. Oh, I thought I thought the same thing with the original Cleato, isn't it? Well, I'm just I'm just about to open one up right here. I I I thought so too, but let's have a look. Yeah, it's the whole thing. The Cleato is the whole thing. The head is from the rooter to the tutor, man. It goes all the way up. Yeah. Wow, I had that really good and tightened. Well, regardless, um, you know, and the, the, yeah. and the Clieto was pretty revolutionary because it was the simple, I think it was the simplest 
a sub ohm tank when it first came out to, to vape because it was the first tank that actually the entire the entire head system was the entire tank basically you had a top and the bottom and the, everything in the center was the head and it was so simple to, to you know to, to fill and it was just basically dump juice in it and vape yeah uh, and it's to this day is still one of my favorite tanks um, and they're cheap and the heads are cheap now this I don't you know this tank is cheap I don't know how expensive the heads are I'm sure they'll be more expensive now because they're new uh, but uh, right now uh, you know I have one in order we'll see how they are uh, but for 19 bucks hey give it a try see what happens mm -hmm. right, right? Yeah, well, like I say, it took me a while to finally adopt, but when I did, I have to I have to hand it to them. They did a great tank the first time around, so I have yes, high I hopes. Yes, I said, hey, Tiger, try the Clinty. Yeah. She got really, and then she smacked me. That's not quite <laughs> how I remember it, but uh, okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, that's that on on the uh, Clear 120s. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. let's see here. Okay, I know that nicotine is that nicotine deal is over. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. All right. Here's one I bought as well. Okay. This is the uh, this is going to be for the Nugget version two. Oh. Um. Now I picked one of these up. Uh, this is coming from Fustech. Um. There's a the link. Beach a big bamboo. Beach a big bamboo. Um, <laughs> Enjoy it. It's rare. I know. <laughs> now uh, I love the original Nugget. It's great. This is version two. Uh, is uh, more ma. Uh, it's 1500 ma. Aww. Which is nice. Okay, that's that's nice. Uh, it only goes to 50 watts, but it's uh, slightly taller. I mean, slightly slightly taller than the original Nugget. Buttons are different. They look like they have been machined better. Uh, they look they look uh, they look nicer. Um, and they promise that this will um, charge in 70 minutes. Oh, wow. And it's still okay, just so, as cute as a button. Right. It charges in 70. They say basically it's going to take 70 minutes to charge, which is nice. Um, something, you know, you, you know you're going to be leaving in an hour. Uh, you're going to be out for a couple hours. You throw it on a charge. You know it'll be done uh, and ready to go and be ready for you when you're going to go out. For me, something like this, 1,500 mile. The original Clieto would only, I mean, Clieto. Nugget would last me. A couple hours. This will probably last you three hours on a, you know, if you're going out. If you're sitting at home, you know, banging away on your mod, no, it's not going to last that long. This is to me. These are going out mods. Yeah, I agree. You know? They're and for for what they are for that. Uh, David says it's small enough to fit in your pocket. Yes, absolutely. They are just so cute and itty bitty and frankly awesome. There's the original. <coughs> yeah, Tiger. Uh, Tiger. I fell in love with it. Oh, absolutely. No, great little setup. Great little setup. It's the only time a man can handle it, a girl saying, isn't that cute? <laughs> it's so <laughs> uh, little. Thank you. Yeah, that's the only time when you show them the nugget. Uh, so the nugget, so I bought uh, the nugget too. I went with the, um, the brushed silver version this time because I have a bronze. Tiger has this, uh, the original silver. I have, I'm sick of white mods and I'm sick of black mods. So uh, I got the uh, brushed stainless one. 28 bucks uh, with coupon code MAP. And of course, it'll ship free coming from Fast Tech. Uh, is this on pre order? Uh, let me give me a sec here. Uh, it ships in two days. Okay. It's on pre order, but the pre order uh, is on the 16th. So it ships in two days. Uh, so you should get it pretty quick. Uh, you know, average for me. To be honest with you, from from Fast Tax, about eleven days, you know. Yep. I, I I have noticed something though. A lot of beginning for Fast Tech I have to sign for, which is annoying, uh, to be honest with you, because if um, I'm not, you if, know, if you use the e packet option, I think they make you sign. Yeah. So, um, oh well, that's good to know. Thanks, and I didn't know that. Well, it, it to some degree that can be really advantageous because I know there are some people who complain about their vape mail disappearing. If you have to sign for it, that helps with that. So, right, right. Uh, and again, it's slightly bigger, and uh, it's normally forty four ninety nine. That's really expensive. Uh, but use coupon code MAP drops it to twenty eight bucks. Uh, so, <coughs> if it. If you're interested in a little baby mod like this, and I love them, I'm still into them. It was a big fad a few months ago. Everything was small and little and wonderful. Um, 
now this one coming in uh, again coming at 28 bucks it's cute so um, I'm excited to try it it should be here uh, hopefully by the end of the month cool all right so that on the nug And for those of you, I, I did notice your uh, question there, Mrs. Deli, but you've already got the answers. Uh, having trouble finding the coils for the tank. Now, the tank that came with, if you got the nugget as a kid, it's the 49er tank. I like it. It's just such a cute little tiny tank, but great flavor and good performance. Um, so marries beautifully with it. And uh, it, it was at first a little tricky to find the heads, but uh, two sources in the room. If you're looking for the stainless steel or nickel, you can grab them from VapeRoyalty.com. Thanks, Scuba, for that. And Chinook Winds lets us know that Fast Tech also has the 49er and other artery coils. So <coughs> two sources for those. Chinook uh, reminds us, too, there is an eBay uh, seller that's got all of the artery yeah. heads as well. When, it, when in doubt, look at eBay. Yeah. You know. All right, so that's that. Um, now, here's one coming in from eSig.com. This is a big package. This is an acute package. This oh, is a big package. Oh, Joe said big package. I like how you talk. Um, it's not, you're going to make me blow. Uh, I'm trying. Uh, all right, hold on. We're, where are we at here now? Um, okay, there we go. Let's see. Did Big Bam find the big package? No. There it is. Uh, this is for, uh, this is a, 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 a uh, the Smoke Tech Alien 220 watt mod plus the smoke tech baby beast tank um now this this all comes in a beautiful kit for 6175 um now when, go over to esig.com let me see okay now black is on pre-order blue is on pre-order gold and red are in stock okay and to be honest with you i haven't seen the blue but the gold and red seem to be the best colors to be honest with you um I'm a big fan of either the red or the pimp gold. Uh, yeah, and, uh, that's a hot look. Display on this thing. I'm looking at the display on this thing. It almost looks fake. Like it's a excuse me, like it's a sticker or something. There's a lot of information going on on this display. Mm -hmm. And um, coming in again at sixty-one dollars. If you use coupon code VJC or I love you. Now that's one-time use coupon code. It's five percent. Okay. Now, if you want to use them, and you've already and you already have, the best way to do it is to cheat. <laughs> you basically gotta uh, check out as a guest and use a different email address, and uh, you could use the coupon code. Um, but uh, again, uh, the ones that are in stock, I don't know if you're looking at the pictures, Tiger. Would you agree with me? The red and the gold seem to be the best looking of the three. Well, I am very impressed with that red. Uh, probably no small secret because that latest RX2 slash 3 uh, I got is uh, the red and black combination. That is so smart. I've blown the picture up huge so they can really, really appreciate that display. That is truly gorgeous. Yeah, really nice. Uh, uses um, how many? Uses how many? 18650s. It's showing two 18650s. I don't believe you can get to 220 watts or two 18650s. That's just me. Uh, usually, you gotta you're probably you gotta use three, unless they're using some new technology that I'm unaware of. Uh, but um, who the hell needs 220 watts? I don't know. Uh, I I would just get it for the look. Now, of course, uh, on top, it's going to have its Baby Beast, uh, which is another joke we're going to be talking about after this. Uh, baby Beast is basically a TFV blah, 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 <laughs> you know, version. And it, what I'm hearing is exactly what it is. It's a Baby Beast. Uh, kicks out crazy uh, clouds uh, and, and uh, comes with it. So this it's this is a massive kit. This is, this is something, you know, you want to treat yourself. You want to get somebody something nice for Christmas. And Christmas is coming, I know. You're like, oh, my God, it's not even the end of summer yet. Trust me, it's going to come fast. Um, this is something you can put away and, uh, or, you know, whatever. Treat yourself. Use coupon code I love you or VJC. It'll bring it down to 6175 <laughs> Now, if you buy something else on the site um, and you get that up to 75 bucks, the total, uh, you'll get free shipping. And eSig.com ships fast. 
Uh, so um, that's where I got this. So uh, <laughs> I use them all the time. Great people. And um, there's only one problem with eSig.com. They really lack descriptions. <laughs> if you look at certain, they're, sometimes they even lack pictures. <laughs> like they'll hit me up and they'll be like, oh, I got a great deal on this. And it's just like the, you know, it'll just be the title and a price. <laughs> and I'm just like, well, now I got to go search for pictures and, and everything. But, you know, it is what it is. But uh, whatever. Um, you know, they're still great people. They ship fast. And this is a great deal. Again, uh, sixty one seventy five, and you get all the all the goods. And Scuba is noticing that the firing button is the entire side. Well, just about the entire side. Yeah, it looks like. And uh, for those of you who aren't sure about that, like instead of just having a little button to push with your thumb, I, I got to tell you, I've got another mod that, that mocks that, also made by Smoke. Um, this is the, oh, oh gosh, what is this now? The X Cube 2, yeah. Um, and this one fires by just, you'll see the whole side goes in. And uh, so you don't have a button to push, you just squeeze when you want to have a vape. And I got to tell you, it's very, very comfortable, very, very cool to use. So I'm I'm very intrigued by this one. And guess now, what's in go, here? Somebody writes, go to Fast Tech for the descriptions. Um, you know what? That, that works sometimes, but if you don't really look and you just copy and paste, peep the chinglish is sometimes so bad. Uh, thank you. You're thank welcome. you. Thank you. I love you. The chinglish is. Yeah, I love you too. Anyway, so. Anyway, so um, the chinglish can be so bad that it makes you look illiterate as a blocker. So you really got to go comb through it. Uh, but um, <laughs> there are times where Tiger would, would be like, "Are you? Were you drunk when you wrote this?" I'm like, "Why?" I'm, and I'm reading it. I'm like, "Holy shit! I didn't." <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. um, well, it is what it is. That's how they keep their prices so low: saving money on uh, quality translators. Exactly. They really need them. I mean, I'm surprised that the Americans don't get jobs doing this because they need them bad. <laughs> okay. okay. So now, uh, where are we going on this one? Okay. Oh, the price went up a little bit on this. But if you just want the baby beast, uh, which I did order one of these for Tiger. Because uh, she's she she loves the TFV4 so much. This is a TFV8 baby beast tank. Um, I'm sure Big Man Boom will get it. There it is. Uh, it says 1761. The price has shot up about 49 cents. Uh, so it's 1808 now. Uh, um, but still worth it. I mean, completely worth it. And uh, from what I'm hearing, this thing's crazy, crazy, crazy. And uh, it ships free. Now let's see. What, how much is the black one? Black ones were expensive. Black ones 1975, and the silver is 1808. So, whichever way you want to go on this thing. Uh, but uh, well, you you grabbed one of these in black for me, right? Yes. Yeah. So I'm stoked about that because Big Bam has been on me for weeks to try the TFV8. Knowing how much I love the TFV4, he says, No, 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 no. You got to try the TFV8. So I'm hoping the baby beast um, is enough TFV8 uh, is, is going to be just as good an experience, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to give this one a shot. So yes, yes, big bam, you influence me. Yes. Black, black tanks matter. Well, it'll go perfectly with my, uh, black and red RX two slash three. Yeah. And, uh, they sh again, they ship on the 16th. Um, so it'll all be good. And, um, I can't wait to, uh, I picked up two, one for myself and one for her. Now, Square uh, Primes wants to know, how does the Baby Beast compare to the Cleto? He has the TFV8 too, and it's almost too much. Well, uh, oh. we don't have ours yet, Square Primes, so we couldn't say. But um, the TFV8 Baby Beast is going to be using the same heads as the TFV8. So it'll be a similar experience, I would imagine, just more of a diminutive one. Um, so we'll yeah, let you know. You can't really compare them. I mean, these, some of the like TFV4, uh, TFV8s, whatever, octa coils, and you put them on like 70, 80, 100 watts, man. You know, at, at some point, vaping doesn't, isn't enjoyable for any me anymore at that kind of level of vaping. Because it's just like now I, I, I see, it's, it's just, it's, it's insanity. You know what I mean? I want to mimic smoking. I don't want to mimic a fog machine. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it doesn't, it's not enjoyable for me to, to have insane clouds, you know? Um, so for me, a Clieto was perfect. Um, 
it's uh, an enjoyable, I guess, thicker, cloudy, uh, nice kind of vape. But these are crazy. These are like vape competition level freaking. I've seen Tiger with her original TV4. <laughs> I am blasting it. I'm like, just like, Jesus, man, what are you doing? <laughs> Set off the fire alarms. <laughs> no. But, you know, whatever. I mean, everybody vapes the way they like to vape. Like me, I like to mimic smoking. You know, I don't want to... I, I like I like flavor and vape, but, man, some of these these new tanks are insane. Even even the even the Coil Master tank is, is, is about the maximum I want to go on a tank as far as vape production. You know, I don't want to, you know, because then I'll have to take this thing everywhere. You know? <laughs> All righty. Well, we have run right to the bottom of the hour, Joe. We don't have, any, we don't have anybody coming on, right? right? Uh, no, no, not tonight. Well, um, well, before questions, I just want to bring up the contest. Oh, okay. Because there's only a few days left. Right um, on. Now, if you guys don't know, and I'm sure you do, but if you don't, you're a moron. Aww, uh, be nice the, now. Vaping, vaping on the ground is celebrating its two-year anniversary, and I'm giving away an Xbox One S, two terabyte edition. Uh, it, now, if believe it or not, it has been 39 days since I put this this uh, this uh, contest up. There's only two days left. <clears throat> okay. And I've dropped the link in the room for the forum. You can head on over there, and all the information is right in the bright yellow uh, announcements bar that will give you everything right. you need to know. Uh, now, basically, uh, you have two days left, and it's going to end on Friday. This Saturday, I'm on NBA, we are going to pick the winner of live. You must be a member of Vaping Underground to, uh, to win, because I'm going to pro um, personally PM you, uh, and you have to give me your name and address, and I will ship to you i have but it's an, i never even opened the box from new egg there could be sneakers in there <laughs> <laughs> i just never opened the box uh but i did buy it when it came out and the two terabyte version is going to be the hard to find version because uh it's going to be the 500 and the one terabyte 500 gig and one terabyte bundle sets that they're going to be selling the two terabyte versions were the first one they set out and uh they were saying they're not going to make a lot of them uh, and this, of course, is the sexy white version, whatever. Right now, it's 182,795 total entries. That's a lot of fucking entries. Uh, and uh, you got two days left. And you can still manage to get some entries. You only need one to win. And I've done giveaways before. Xboxes and PS4s. I even gave away $1,000 in cash, all kinds of stuff. And some people have won with one entry. And there were, like, hundreds of thousands of entries. <laughs> Um, I think the I think the thousand dollars in cash, which was broken up at the two, four people who won two hundred fifty bucks, I think that was the biggest. Which is funny, because this costs more than two hundred fifty dollars. But the two hundred fifty dollars in cash was the biggest one. I think it was like two hundred fifty to two hundred sixty thousand entries. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to get another seventy thousand or whatever in the next two days. So uh, yeah. this will be the second highest one. But uh, remember, but folks, there is you can you you can get multiple entries. There's lots of ways to win, but it only takes one entry to win. So just make sure that you have an account over at the Vaping Underground Forum. A uh, great place to get information on everything. To just uh, chit chat with other vapors, have a lot of fun. If you're into DIY, our DIY section is absolutely the crowning jewel of the forum. Um, so much information there. So many helpful people, recipes. Uh, everything you need to get started and keep going. So um, great, great with that. And and so much other stuff too, more than I can begin to talk about. Uh, we've got a trade oh, yeah. trading section that just thrives where people are able to uh, uh, get rid of things that no longer suit their purpose and uh, get a good deal. So. And it has a great feedback system. Well, like yeah. Feedback. yeah, exactly. Uh, and... Uh, we're always trying to find new and exciting things to add to the forum, so uh, it's going to keep going and growing. Uh, and we just hit our 50,000th member a few weeks ago, uh, so all is good in the hood over at Vaping Underground, so head over there and check it out. Uh, uh, we've got one of our Cracker Jack mods in the room, Bang Bang, and we don't bite. No, that's right, we don't. We have a terrific uh, staff over there that just uh, really, really do a great job. They're absolutely passionate about vaping and the forum, so... A fun experience, and uh, you won't get over-moderated or moved on without 
really, really trying. Yes. Yes. I get yelled at sometimes. Yes. Uh, Joe is in danger of being banned, but... I'm always... I'm always you know, I, I can get banned from my own forum sometimes. You know, it just kind of happens. <laughs> I'll do it myself. <laughs> but anyway, so get over there. You'll love it. Um, and uh, if anybody has questions before we get off, because... Uh, uh, yeah, and she, Tiger have we'll, a date. We'll run, oh, do we now? Um, but yeah, we'll run a few seconds long if you guys have any questions. We always take a few questions at the end of the show, and since nobody's coming on uh, on schedule, so we'll... Is anybody coming on at midnight? Uh, not tonight. Okay. No, uh... Uh, we used to have sweet vaping at midnight on Wednesday nights, Thursday mornings, but they have moved to Thursday nights, Friday morning. And unfortunately, uh, I, I have to let you know, they, they won't be here this week. Melissa has uh, been scheduled an extra shift at work and she just won't be able to make it tomorrow. So uh, we are missing them. But we do have a great lineup. Other than that, on Thursday, of course, at 3 p.m. Eastern, we've got Chillin' with Calvin and uh, followed by the Late Late UK Vape Show with our, our beloved Vapin' with Vic and Gwen Go Lightly. That's 5 p.m. Eastern. At 7 p.m., Tower of Vape will take over with Cirrus of Package and no doubt uh, his lovely Latin... Did you say Cirrus of Package? Did I say Package? I meant Passage. Yes, you did. <laughs> Oh my god. What are you thinking about? I guess. Serious <laughs> of Package, I love it. I guess I'm thinking about our date. Um, Serious <laughs> of Passage. <laughs> Oh my God! She's and I'm sure I'm package. sure Latin Lady Vaping will join him uh, for that. And uh, of course, then following them, <laughs> you, you you broke me. Yes, yeah, Scoop was picked it up too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! At 10 p.m., stay tuned tomorrow uh, for No Saints J and Saints Vapor with Ohm Field Advantage. And yeah, I guess I guess it's. <laughs> I'm anyway. gonna I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Good uh, grief. So, um. Anyway, guys. So uh, we will see Freddy you uh, this. We will see you guys this Saturday on Mon and Me. Uh, to uh, you know, do what we do. Remember, we weren't. Well, we, I, I missed not doing Mon and Me. I, I felt guilty not doing Mon and Me last week. Uh, so this week we get to do catch up, and uh, should be fun. And again, we are going to announce the winner of the next box uh so that should be fun and then of course next week we will see you again mm -mm. for a done deal yes when i will try not to trip over my tongue <laughs> and uh big bam as always thank you so much for your help and links yes, and you, uh expertise and uh thanks everybody for being here with us tonight always fun and uh i think i've embarrassed myself enough for one night so how about we wrap it up Yes, have a good package. Uh, I mean, a good night. <laughs> Ciao, Bellas. <laughs>